go. How you doing, Brian King, UK Flooring TV. Uh, back over in Telford at Dan's shop. Uh, Dan, how you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. Cheers, mate. Uh, two reviews are going down well, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, it's quite good, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah got yeah. some good comments we're getting. Yeah, I didn't know there was that many people out. Anyway, Dan, uh, what we're doing this week? Yeah, um, we're doing the Easy Bind, from, which come from Stair Rods, and thanks very much for donating this. Cheers, uh, John Rain from Stair Rods UK. Yeah. He, uh, he just said, do we need anything? Just sent us a full creel of uh, Easy Bind. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, is it something you use easy band uh, to be fair i use it uh, a good few times a year yeah uh, i've used it a couple of times uh, I've, I've used it on a pair of slippers i made out of carpet to finish the edge um, it, it, it's a different look to your traditional whipping yeah it can be done on site um, you can make some rugs for people there and then it's, it saves you a trip to going to get things whipped it's an alternative edge and, and it, it does give quite a quality finish doesn't it well a very good quality finish um, it, 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 it's different to your traditional whipping it comes in a range of different colours to suit your job that's the good thing about it um, say you're doing a stir runner and, and the, the half landing at the top you want it shaping round so it yeah. follows the, the, the flight of stirs on the right well, you need to cut it on site. You don't yeah. have to take it away, get it whipped, come back. You can do it all on yeah, site. Yeah, no, you can do it there and then, can't you? Yeah, yeah. The the first time I saw Easy Barn was it must have been about fifteen years ago at the National Floor Show at Harrogate. There was a guy from America called Kelly Huddleston. He was demoing it, uh, and Kelly and, and a colleague of his actually invented this. Uh, and so they what they did they teamed up with Stir Rods because Stir Rods was interested in pushing it as a product. So I think they te they teamed up uh, together, and uh, it, well, it's been quite a good seller. Yeah, the yeah. Past well, years. A, a lot of the fitters I speak to use it. You use it yourself a lot, yeah. don't you? Yeah, yeah. Like I say, it's uh, it's a, a better finish than the whip, like on the whipping machine. It's yeah. like a yeah, it, a it's, more classy finish. It's, yeah, it's like you've done something special, which I suppose you have really. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, you can buy uh, the, the the kit to bind, well, to use it with, which is the glue gun, and uh, I think the kit I got that 15 years ago. It cost me 25 quid. No, they're only 30 pound 15 years later. So, yeah, you know what I mean, 30 yeah, quid yeah. for that. And uh, what who makes that? Thing? It's a tech. It's tech, isn't it? Yeah. So tech, te it, it tech is bond. A good, a good yeah, it's a manufacturer. It's a, it's a proper manufacturer. Um, I've got two tech guns down there. I've got a, a gas-powered one as well. Works on butane. They, they've been around for years, and they're the top end of of glue guns, really. In the kit, you get your, your gun, the nozzle. You get a nozzle, a special yeah, nozzle to there's, do it. There's a stand. You stand to stand it on your glue, your yeah. glue sticks, your tape. Some for self sellotape there. for where you uh, cut the cut the ends to stop it from giving a frayed finish when you cut it. You even get a mat as well to work on. Yeah. So. Yeah. For, for 30 quid <laughs> bargain uh, yeah. yeah and you can buy this you can buy the colour you want in the length you want can't you yeah um, when I first started using it you had to buy a full roll yeah uh, but no you can buy as little as or as much as you need so, yeah, yeah. so sometimes I got asked to do a mat or just a small piece of something I had to buy a full roll to I, do it which there's a lot of different colours if you, you've got the colour palette somewhere haven't you yeah, we'll, yeah. Up, we'll put a photograph of that up after yeah there's a lot of new colours been recently introduced so uh, and, and Stir Rod UK are giving those for free the sample boxes yeah yeah so. yeah no he's quite good with his sample stuff uh, he sent me some some sample stuff of his uh, tram line edges and uh, they've got some good stuff at the minute stir yeah. to bring in yeah. stuff out all the and time it's not cheap stuff it's quality stuff yeah 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 at the, at the right price um also as well scott carter dowding's doing videos on they're doing all instructional videos yeah, about yeah. all the products yeah. which is yeah. good showing you how to use it but anyway um so how do you use this down yeah well, it's basically, it's got like a herringbone type of uh, binding tape under it and they've got the rope sewn to it. Um, so you put the sellotape on a, the end you're going to cut, if you put a piece of sellotape and then you cut it with some sharp scissors, it, it gives you a nice edge. Uh, if you leave that sellotape on until you've joined the two ends together, um, it, it's better then to, to, to put, it's easier to pull it off and it doesn't fray out any of the outer coating because you've you've sealed it with the hot glue 
um, at the end. You'll see that process. But basically, you cut the length that you need, cut your mat to size, um, and put it on. Should we go for yeah, it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's got some high tack tape on it. So the the shallow tape at the beginning, you've put that yeah. on around. Is that to, uh, well, that's yeah. to stop it bursting open when it's, you cut yeah, it? Yeah, ju just stops it bursting when you when you cut it, yeah. What I do as well is I put a little bob of glue on yeah. uh, when it joins up. Yeah, when they join it. Give it that extra. And it gets. It, it seals up all of them yeah. open ends, so it, it, it won't fray then, no, no. So first you're sticking it on with the self-adhesive tape? First you're sticking it on around the edge with the self-adhesive tape. I, I, I'd always, if you was doing a mat, I'd put the join to the side of the mat, or where it's taking less traffic, um, so you've got solid edges where you're walking over it. If there's, if there's a side of the mat that's by a wall or going to take less traffic, or the front corner, I'd, just a simple reason, same as with the carpet, try and keep your join out of a traffic area. Um, it, it was made really for stir runners, so yeah. if you're doing a stir runner, you're not, you're not going to have a join. No, no, because so. it's, it, it's one run down. But I, if I was doing a mat, just try and keep it out of the way. Obviously, if you turn the mat, it'll be on the other side. But um, right, we'll I can it. see you've done two curved edges and two square edges as well. Yeah, we'll see how it goes around that corner and we'll, we'll, we'll go around the square edge. Let's uh, put a bit of it on. So basically, pretty simple. And this tape, if you do need to adjust it a little bit as you're putting it on, this tape does come off. You can pull it backwards and forwards a couple of times. So basically we'll get that round the edge, it's gone round the curved corner quite nice. Do want to butt it up nice and tight to the edge, then when you run round with the glue gun afterwards. If I was doing an axe minster like, like I'm doing here, I'd probably uh, latex the edge before I started to stop it fraying. What is that down there, a bit of Ulster? Yeah, a bit of Ulster, the real stuff like the whiskey of the carpet trade. <laughs> the single malt of the carpet. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll, we'll get to the back and the, the folds in the tape after. So I mean... It bends round quite easy doesn't yeah, it? Yeah it's gone round quite nice round there. I mean I haven't touched this stuff for two years. So it's not like we practice anything here. We just... Uh, Go for it. And we haven't really needed to ever start anything again yet, have we? No. I said that now. If you watch what happens in a second. Well, I've noticed we've <laughs> not plugged the glue gun in, so. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll have a cup of tea then while that's warm enough. Any excuse? <laughs> so I'll just plug that in now, Brian, so it's warm enough, by as well. Yeah. And again, you can see how simple it is to use because I've not touched this glue gun before and it's been a couple of years since I've, uh, I've put this tape on and uh, obviously if I wasn't talking it'd probably be around the edge by now and done. But even you get to a sharp corner and it turns, I'll just put a little peek in that. stand there, I wouldn't pull that, I'll cut it off after. Like I said, yeah, it should be sealed really on a woven carpet. We're just doing it for demo purposes, yes, I don't yeah. think. No, nobody cares. Just don't want any complaints. Can you spin that round, Dan, where you're going to join that so we can see? I was trying to hide that bit. In case it didn't work. No, <laughs> we want to zoom in on that. So then basically we'll get it round to there. Probably shouldn't have uh, pulled all the tape off. but So 
I see Brian has got a roll of tape that came with it. Um, my you fingers. get one in the sample box as well, Dan. Yeah. So if you fit your cellar tape round, try not to touch it on the glued edge. I'll just pull that out so you can see it cut with the camera. And then what I usually do is just put a spot on yeah. where, where it meets just a belt and brace. So we're waiting for glue to warm up now then, aren't we? Those are the new sample boxes as well, Dan, with all oh, the colours yeah, in, all it. the new colours. See, that's a fancy one, isn't it? Yeah. I think when it first came out, it was limited to about 10, 15 colours. Yeah, but yeah. Now there's yeah, there's a lot here. Yeah. There's a grey. Well, there's flipping hundreds of them. Well, hundreds of them. That's quite a few in there. Yeah. <laughs> if you can't find a colour in there, you're never finding a no, colour. No. <laughs> yeah, so you can see there is plenty of colours there. I also see he's got some of these uh, stair studs in that they make. Have you used any of these? I have, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you can put yeah, these. Yeah, on, on a landing in. where the, the spindles are, they, 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 link, they link quite good to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I, I've never put any of them in, I have seen them on uh, photographs. Right then, let's see if this has warmed up. Right. Okie doke. That's it. There you go, cooking on gas. Yeah. It's basically in the gully. Again, the block of wood, if the glue was pumping out quite easy, I could have done the whole edge, but we'll just take it steady. We're not in a rush. Seems to be going off quite quick. It's going off already, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Just work my way to the corner and make sure the corner's pushed in. That's the beauty of this hot melt. As soon as it cools, you've got the full bond. as soon as I let go of it. So it's a good system. If I can do it, anyone can do it. What I have seen it used on quite a few times is uh, uh, yachts and boats. Do you know yeah, if you have like yeah. a runner down the middle, it's not wall to wall and they seem to... They yeah, actually it, suit a boat as does, well, wouldn't it? Looks it smart. Look, well, it's like a rope With the rope edge, edge yeah, yeah. yeah. See, as soon as it's glued in it becomes part of it doesn't it it's uh, yeah. nice and tight you can tell the difference between the glued bit there's probably people out there who can use it a bit less clumsily than me but and then <laughs> I think when I go out to and uh, measure a carpet and they want to stir on, I give them the option, they can either have it bound, I show them, as, well, on your sample boots it's bound, it's wet, so I show them that and then I get, I have a sample of carpet in the van, what I've easy bound, and I show them that, and a lot do go for that because it is not much more in price and it does look a lot more classier. Is that it? Basically that's it, um, we'll turn it over now, you can um, basically if you're trimming this bit of hessian off here, don't trim right off to the corner so it falls off, but you can just uh, trim off those edges. Now 
now I probably could have folded it a bit better on the underside but as a first go after a few years there's no problem with that. Spot on. You like that? Yeah, spot on. So yeah, quick and easy to use, quality looking, buy as much as you need for the job. It's on Sterod's UK's website as well and I think there's another instructional video on how to use it. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, but Sterod's probably use it a bit better than me, but uh, it, you don't want to look at an expert, you want to look at a... Real fitter? Well, uh, someone that hasn't used it every day because of the first times you use it, you're going to be an amateur with it, so... Uh, would you find it... Would you, from I one amateur to, to another. It's easy. <laughs> yeah, 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 it is, I, and uh, I'm quite impressed with that, you take it home, and then... Um, Basically your sellotape, if you remove your sellotape at the end. As you pull it off I'd always pull it the way the rope is. Yeah, so you get an edge there, you can't see the joint of it. And anybody interested just one uh, Stir Rods UK website yeah. and yeah. Uh, just take it from there. Yeah. Well done, another good tool review. Well, not so much a tool review, it's a product review. But yeah, yeah. Like I said, it's something I use and it's something I like as well, so. I find it easier to do a job if you've seen someone else do it. Yeah. It's, it's not, as you don't learn as much as doing it yourself, but you, you have a general idea of how to start. And then, I mean, there is only one way you can do it, so. And it is no simple, trouble. isn't it? It's simple, yeah. it's gotta be simple for me. There you go. Anyway, Dan, thanks very much. Thanks very much. Once again, and I'll uh, see you next week. Yeah, see you next week, mate.